Good evening, my name is Maha Selassie. I'm a public sociologist at Sinclair Community College, board chair for Gym City Market, and uh, the former chair for the Human Relations Council. The many people and, and the many voices comprise the one city. And I think oftentimes when we're looking at inequality or we're looking at a community that's disjointed, it's because a lot of voices are not at the table. So the, the power of voice, the power of making sure those that are, that are typically at the margins are put into the center of conversation, put into the center of public policy, that, that's what HRC does, right? That we can hear the voices because the voices that are often not at the table have more understanding of like what, what is the effects of the issues and policy, how it actually directly affects them, they have more knowledge. It's like oftentimes, you know, in the past, you know, people be making decisions and they ain't got no clue what actually happened on the ground. This notion of many people and many voices is, is how to really center and ground the work inside of the experience of those that are, that are living it out the most, how we come together as a community. Because when you take care of uh, and include a voice at the margins, everybody benefits, right? And that, that's this whole notion of one city, you know what I mean? So we can't be one city apart from everybody else. How we leverage the gifts and talents of our entire region, you know, acknowledge the dignity and worth of every human being, and in that, like leverage our capacity in towards building the community that we want to work, live, and play in, right? Like that we have self-determination, that we have the power to breed a change, that we are the ones that we've been waiting for, right? And so, and it comes by acknowledging our dignity and worth and not trying to compete, not trying to outshine each other, but just embracing, you know what I mean, the gifts and talents that we all have. So it's like living into this notion of Ubuntu, that I exist because you exist and you exist because I exist and I can't be all that I can be until you are all that you can be and vice versa. So it's knowing that we're interdependent and that we're stronger together, right? That's what makes Dayton strong, right? And so it's like how we just really like build this shared future from a divided past.